What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it looks like we got yet another Season 5 teaser for Modern Warfare. If you guys remember yesterday's video, Nick Merckx actually received a short video clip inside a Rook chess piece. And I talked about this in great detail in yesterday's video, so if you guys missed that and want to get all the details on that, make sure you check that out. But just for a brief recap, this is the clip that Nick Merckx got a couple days ago. And that's pretty cool. It seems to hint at the fact that they are going to be adding a train on the new train track that they added with Season 4, and it's likely going to be doing a loop and having loot on it and everything. However, there was also the significance of that Rook piece that he got, and my guess for that yesterday, after doing a bunch of research on it, was that the Shadow Company would be returning. And it turns out that's probably correct, because immediately after my video went live yesterday, TP, another really popular streamer, he received another one of these video clips, once again, in one of those Rook chess pieces. And with this, it also came with a letter that immediately references the Shadow Company. So it looks like my theory was actually correct. The Shadow Company is part of the narrative for Season 5 coming up. However, more importantly, he did receive another quick video clip as a teaser, and let's have a look at it right now. Yeah. What is happening? What? So it looks like in this video clip, this appears to be inside the stadium. And you can see like all the sports posters and everything that you can see plastered all over the outside of the stadium. And also on the top left, it says 5G Concourse A3. So with all of this combined, I'm pretty confident this is from a security camera inside the stadium. And once again, we have that August 5th date, which is going to be the launch of season five, it looks like. And the timestamp on this is 11.05, which is a little bit later than the Nick Merckx clip that we got, which is about 10.46 or something like that. Also with this clip, it looks like there is some sort of an explosion that goes off. You can sort of see and hear the initial shockwave at first where the camera gets all shaky. And then you see the big flash and then a bunch of smoke and debris before the camera goes offline. And that looks to be somewhat consistent with a bomb going off somewhere nearby. And it's almost definitely related to that warhead that was found under Bunker 11 as one of the Easter eggs in Season 3. So that is definitely part of the story. And for a long time, we've been suspecting that bomb is going to go off somewhere on the map and it's going to completely change the map up. It looks like this may be happening with Season 5. So there's a few more things to unpack with this. And the first thing is that code on the top left where it says 5G Concourse A3. And while I didn't really understand what that was in yesterday's video, it was a different code. Now that we have this one, it makes things a lot more clear. So first up, 5G, if we look at the Warzone map, this is the exact location of the stadium. And if you look at yesterday's clip, the first two on this one were 6D. And if we look at 6D on the map, that puts it right around the train station area. So that's what those first two digits seem to mean. Then it says Concourse A3. And the Concourse part, that's pretty obvious. It's within the Concourse in the stadium. However, with A3, I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I believe that that's just the section of the stadium is A3, which if we actually look at the maps on the outside of the stadium here, you can see on the legend, there's an area called Plaza A, and this is all of the area marked in blue on the map. So it seems like that security camera was on the south side of the stadium, most likely on level 3, because it's A3. As for circling back to yesterday's video, this leaves us with TC7 after that 6D. And my guess is this is just like train car 7 or something like that is what that means. But in either case, it looks like that explosion is going off somewhere in the vicinity of the south side of the stadium. Or perhaps even inside the stadium, we don't really know. Although I will say it's a little bit weird to have a shockwave hit and then a few seconds pause before you actually see the flash. If we're looking at an actual realistic nuke type situation, that would imply that the explosion was fairly far away from you, not like right next to where you're at, because there wouldn't be that much of a pause between the shockwave and the flash of light. Another theory that would make a lot more sense with the timing here, assuming something is going on right in the immediate vicinity of the stadium, this would be some sort of a launch. So the first little shockwave, that's when the rocket initially starts up. And then as it takes off, this is where the flash is coming from, as well as all of the debris that comes into the frame of the camera. So maybe they are just going to have that rocket right in the middle of the stadium. They're going to open up the top of the stadium, and then they'll end up launching a rocket from the center of it. That is definitely a possibility as well. At the same time, I am fairly convinced that there will be an explosion on the map itself. So assuming that timing is just video game logic and we can kind of ignore that, 
It looks like the explosion is going to be going off somewhere near the south side of the stadium or inside the stadium itself. But that's the stuff that is fairly obvious to gather from the information that we can see in these teasers. However, I decided to dig deeper here, and this may end up being a bit of a stretch, but I did want to share another one of my theories here. The location of the bomb is not going to be in the stadium. I think it's going to be at this statue right here. And I've got a couple different reasons for this. The first reason is if we find the intersection point between the two locations that we've seen so far in these teasers, that's right on this statue. And this is also the direction that it looks like the helicopter from the previous tease was going in. So it seems like that helicopter is traveling to that destination, perhaps carrying the nuke or perhaps going to try and stop the nuke. So that's the first reason that got me looking into this statue area. However, another thing I want to point out, if you look at this statue area on the map from above, what does that shape look like to you? To me, at least, that reminded me immediately of the radioactive symbol. So yeah, could be a bit of a stretch. This is 100% just a theory that I've come up with based on these two teasers, but I think this is going to be ground zero for where the nuke actually goes off. And what I'm hoping will happen here is I'm hoping the nuke will level at least a good part of downtown, as well as part of stadium to the point where stadium becomes opened up and becomes a new playable area that we can enter where there's loot and we can fight within it. As for the rest of the map, I doubt the rest of the map would be completely destroyed because it, then it would be really strange that they added that train track loop on the western side of the map because if that were destroyed then, then what was the point of them adding that? I'm still convinced that there will be a train that goes around in that loop, but I think it's mainly going to be the area by stadium and the edge of downtown that's going to be destroyed by this bomb. Of course, though, that is just kind of my running theory based on what we know at this moment. Who knows, maybe even by the time this video goes live, yet another streamer will have received another one of these teasers. Maybe they're going to be doing this daily. I don't know. If that happens, I will leave it in a pinned comment down below so you guys can check that one out. And then I'll probably be covering it again tomorrow if I find something worth covering about it. But with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this second teaser and how it relates to the first teaser as well? Do you think I'm on point with my theory that the nuke is actually going to go off at that statue? And how do you think this is going to impact the map, if at all? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.